Hey there, this is Ryan from WP Site Care, and in this video, I just wanted to quickly go over uh, setting up and installing PuTTY and connecting to a web server with SSH. So we're going to go ahead and uh, open up our web browser and we'll search for PuTTY. Now, PuTTY is a Telnet and SSH client, so it, it's what allows us to uh, connect to our web server and uh, work from the command line which can be a super powerful tool so we're going to download putty save it and we'll go ahead and open it up and run putty and in that many seconds putty is up and running so I'm going to close Firefox just to get it out of the way and you can see putty has quite a few uh, different and more advanced options but we're not really going to get into those for the sake of the in this tutorial so we'll just go to logging. Uh, logging can be a pretty powerful tool because uh, it, it's really good at helping us debug issues and it also just keeps a nice record of the things that we do while we're working um, on the uh, while we're working in PuTTY. So instead of no session logging, I'm going to change this to printable output, and we can. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, save this log file. Uh, to a directory I created earlier called putty and we can just leave the log file name as putty that's fine so we'll save that so we have our log file path set we're gonna go back to the session and by default uh, putty chooses SSH as the connection type and that's exactly what we're gonna use this time and SSH uses common port 22 so now all we need to do is enter our host name or IP address. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, enter that in here. And when I click open, it's going to open a terminal window that will uh, allow, me, allow me to uh, log into my server. So only do this if you're super comfortable with administering servers. Uh, but I'm going to log in with root. And now it's going to let me put in my password. Maybe I'll try that one more time. And you can see when I log in successfully that it gives me the date of my last login and where I logged in from. And now uh, the server is kind of an open book. I can issue any command, uh, any Linux based command, because this is a Linux server. So um, if I want to display all the directories and files, um, I, can, I can easily do that. Uh, and that's as if that's as far as we'll go in this tutorial. But uh, once you get to that point, you can issue literally any Linux-based uh, command. So I'm going to go ahead and exit now, and that will close the session with uh, our server and also close down Putty. And if we go back to where we saved that log file and open it up with Notepad, you can see all of the changes, all, all of the commands we issued and the whole history of our session is recorded here in this text file. So it can be pretty useful and, uh, and a really good tool. So that is everything for this tutorial. Hope it was helpful.